slain away on this fucking joint, Urn. Get to fucking work. How fucking dare this joint not already be rolled as I awoken? Don't you know you're my servant? I can't even put something about the industrial dildos. Yeah. Which I still gotta go pick them up. Yeah, you know, I might do some good shit in there. You might just yeah. have to rehydrate them, you know? Yeah. You might like freeze dry double and they they're all small like a little dinosaur. You have some water. You leave them in the tub <laughs> overnight. Hey, we got a new company, man. Fuck yeah. It. Grow a dick. Hey, Shit. let's go. And your fucking man's acting stupid. You throw him a little fucking capsule. He's like, what the fuck is this? And he starts crying on it as you're walking out. And the big ass dick grows. And it's like, yeah, grow a dick, bitch. That is brilliant, yeah. dude. Is the old grow a dick. I gotta find a pair of shoes to wear today. Grow All right, we're doing random shoe. I'm gonna open one bag. We're gonna stick to one bag and one bag only. Oh. Measuring tape. For what? Uh, just to measure the wall where the couch is gonna go down and stay. Oh, um, I think so. Maybe. These don't match. Uh, I have to wear a pair out of this box. So out of that particular... Out of this bag. There they are. The laceless. Yeah, dude. Those are dope. Hey. All you put in here. Look at these. These aren't even... <laughs> We don't need this with a ship. This is going Y3. This is the best part of the unbagging every day is the disappointment. You're like, oh, Yeezys. Nope, no. GR. Yeah, and then when I'm open one of them and there's going to be a mic. Where'd this weird ass Adidas with the fucking no boots come from? And it's because the mover switched the shoes on his feet. Where'd this Saucony shoe yeah. come from? It's in the Yeezy box. Oh, uh, this is sweet, bud. Loves the stair out the front. You yeah, just go to those two side fences and just watch. Really? You're loving it here, though, it seems like. Me? Yeah. yeah like Once you get that internet in, then you're back to normal. I'm not back to normal. But... Well, no, but I mean, you can function yeah. like... Yeah. I gotta get a light in. Yeah. Look, your buddy. It's your friend. Yo, what? your neighbor can talk, dude. Oh, I'll bet, dude. He's like, he just pops his head out while I'm smoking. He's like, hey, what's going on? He's like, what are you guys doing today? So, I don't know where this drop was, dude. It's around here. Oh. Literally fucking took it off. Maybe it's in this room. Yep, right right here. Uh, 45 minutes of searching. I've been tweeting about it, dog, but... Uh, you only have no, it's not on Spotify. It's not on any of the main things. It's like up on... Look at Twitter. People are tweeting about, like... You could hear it on SoundCloud. It's on YouTube. Like, you could definitely hear it and shit, but... Yeah, latest release is an old one. You don't have any other fucking service? It's, it's not on Spotify either yet. Is it on Tidal? You can check. I don't know. Can you, uh, can you, can you, God forbid, fucking buy the album? I'll buy the album. It's not even on iTunes Music to buy. Like, I would buy the album. I'll go to fucking, I'll go to that right now. iTunes Store. I'm telling you, I looked at all the tweets. And Kid Cudi is like the number one trending thing, but there's nothing there yet. Like, it showed <laughs> everyone searching this shit. Nope, it's not on here either. Oh, Earn. What, you got it on title? I haven't opened it yet, but I just have a very, very strange feeling. No, man, I am not. I know this one. I've done my research. I've been trying to find this all morning. It's on SoundCloud on some fake account, which will probably get taken down. I'm sorry, but what is this right here on the very front of Tidal? What's that right there? What is that? Go back what to is, it. It's switched. Oh, okay. Click it. There's the whole album. Hold on now. I want you to stop searching. Now I'm going to go to Apple fucking Music because I have all of this. Oh, no. now it's asking me to choose my plan. Get the fuck out of here. I got it. Apple Music? Yeah, this is where you're going to it. Okay. I'll bet you a hundred bucks. <laughs> You're gonna be very upset if I do. No, dude, I searched the album name, I searched both artists. I'm sorry, what is this in Apple Music? I'm no. sorry, give me my fucking hundred bucks. No. Give me my fucking hundred dollars, bitch! I'm sorry, what did you see? What is this? What is this right here? Yes. It's in Apple Music, it's right here. Seven songs, 24 minutes. Did my shit just Hold up. Let me go to Spotify real quick. Just, my shit is still not just coming out. project, I'm on a project here. <laughs> this is, Dude. Your shit's been hacked. No, do I have to refresh my whole fucking system? How the fuck? Dude, some days the vlog just writes itself. Silly. He's sitting here all like, dude, what the fuck's up with this album? Why does it come out? Like you're on fucking LimeWire right now trying to fucking get the file. Chill, Napster. Dude, it's just spelled K-I-D-S. Can I see your phone? Because if I do it with your phone, I'd be even more happier with myself. Thank you. Dude, you're not doing it with my phone. It's impossible. I've literally been up all morning 
I was gonna go run to this. Now I didn't even run because I'm gonna run later. Did you one day get mad or something and block Kanye? And no, I got Kanye's album in here. I got the Pusha T album in here. Shouldn't it just be on the front page? That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Your son fucked up. I'm gonna ref let me restart my whole phone. Yo, they got you blocked. You listen to so much bad music that Apple Music just the algorithm was like, he don't want to listen to nothing else. Give him fucking Kodak Black. Just give him Kodak. We're done. We're done giving him anything else. That's They're in the board meeting like, he's a lost cause, ladies and gentlemen. Kodak Black got 7 million streams last month. Uh, account user DirtyEard12 has 6 million 999,000 streams. I can't even believe it. Yeah. What the fuck? What the hell, bro? Damn. Look at this guy. Sunbathing. Huh. Sunbathing at me? We are out here. Crazy. Well, that's a big one. Get this thing, dude. <sighs> this one's out of stock. <laughs> Real Chick fil A cup that ain't a fake one. I thought it was part of the model furniture. I mean, what if I got one of these big chairs? You could. I mean, I need a fucking whole couch. No. Like, you keep the room minimal as fuck, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the wide couch is for you and your dog, that's it. And a bitch. <laughs> we in the furniture start, dog. You're right back here? No, especially, I'm just kind of deciding. I'm thinking... No, I'm not that front room. No? No. I'm about to get one put it in my bedroom. Yeah, because that's what you need. More cardio. More Hopefully bad. your bones will just turn into dust soon if you fucking... <laughs> nope! It says do not enter. God, you already it. almost fucking killed us Those today signs. and it wasn't on film. That's the closest we've ever come to dying. I don't even remember. Are you serious? The closest we've ever come to dying and then you fucking said... That dude did that on purpose. He did. Stop at Walgreens because my allergies are fucked. Yeah. We copped a couch. Yeah. I didn't cop a TV. I copped a whole set thing. I did. A couch, I couch, chair, couch. table. I didn't, the the table. I didn't get the oh, table. Oh, you didn't get the table. Just the ottoman. I'll build you a table. Did it rise up like that? Yeah. It was tight. Appreciate it. Just now I'll come over with some wood and I'll put it together. Yo, you leave your wood at home. You leave your fucking gray, span gray sweatpants and your wood right where the fuck they belong. I just need to borrow your ratchet. Your wood away from my ratchet. No. We don't have a lot of time at Tattoo Shop because no, cable's yeah, coming and there's a lot of food in the car. We've been waiting a long time for these shoes. <laughs> I'm Brandy's desk. Oh, God. So we're out. Go, 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 one. go ahead. Oh, no problem. It's like I haven't opened a box in the room. Well, that's not true. I opened a bunch of boxes. They are. These motherfuckers. Oh, they changed the knit. Oh, it's like almost like four. No, it's not. But it's I see how you. I can see how you'd say that. It's definitely a different knit. Person. Ooh, consortium paper. That's new. Nice. Oh, these are dope. Oh yeah. yeah. The leather one side's not. Let's just see. No. Finally, I got my prototype. You got it. You got it. Look at him go. Beef. This one looks intense. I gotta tell you. What? Your beef. This is about drugs, and people are fucking idiots, and they're just saying whatever they want to say. And I said weed is great, and people. And if you don't think so, you're ignorant. And they're saying that is you're fucked up. Like. I don't like weed and I don't and that doesn't make me ignorant. I'm like, no, it does make you ignorant. I'm not I'm not asking you if you like it, motherfucker. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you like it. It's great. It has benefits for people. Yeah. There are people that have fucking seizures who yeah. can't fucking breathe and without weed they can't fucking live. I really don't give a fuck what you think about it. Yeah. I don't really have a fucking half of a fucking dog's dick what you think about what benefits yeah. other people. It's fucking insane. <coughs> I don't like the smell. Great. I don't care. Like, I don't like the smell of coffee. It's got nothing to do with shit. Like, it doesn't matter, you entitled fuck. It's not your fucking place. UK cheese in the motherfucking building. So my TV's fucking broken. 
What the fuck? What now? So, so the claim is filed. Monday, we'll get an email. She didn't well, tell me the timeline of that. I guess we're going to Best Buy again. I just tweeted that I bought a couch and I'm done spending money this month. I literally tweeted, I was like, just copped a couch. This has been so expensive. I'm done spending money this month. And fucking, god damn it. That dude deserved this. I mean, they're gonna pay for it, but still, like, I wonder what they're gonna give me for it. I probably have the receipt for it still in email. Currently, one cable guy is here. They have two, because one has to set up the internet, the other one has to set up the security. Yeah. All right, hey, finally gone. So, I guess the cable's hooked up. I don't know, the TV doesn't fucking work. Um, I guess the internet's hooked up. I guess the internet's hooked up, but they didn't hook up my router. So, I remember last time I added this router, this shit got fucking stupid and I was on the phone forever, but we'll see. They're definitely here. Cable and security install definitely just took, uh, it's now 4.37, so three hours. Uh, in 37 minutes that took that was a long ass time so i was gonna review these shoes for you we have the prototypes have finally arrived shoe room is not finished it's not set up and there's no lights here so i'm not gonna do it today it's gonna be monday and we also have a pair of the black wings I review both but again monday because i'm not ready i don't got no lights but some shit did come in the mail Shit came in. from Kevin. It has some Ted branding on it, which is kind of fire. So, speaking of which, my homie gave me a keychain. I don't have on the same pan. Damn. And some papers. Nice. More papers. What is this? Shit, this rolling chain just covered. Dog embroidered. It's gonna be the same one in a different color. Ooh, it's the golden track. Damn, the gold leaf limited edition. Hell yeah. Bro, I need to get the raw sponsorship. It's just how it goes. I appreciate you guys mailing me this shit. Oh, bro. 10 year anniversary limited edition 24 karat gold rolling tray. Nice. It tells you not to smoke gold, but I've done that. I like this gold rolling tray. That's fire. More raw and a note. Oh, nice. Just the homie. I remember you from a secret con. Oh yeah, congrats on the new crib. Something for the sick house. Damn man, that's fucking appreciated, dog. Limited to 300 worldwide. That's what's up, man. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it. Um, shout out to fucking Kevin for hooking it up. We will definitely use this. Ah, that gold rolling tray is fire. I haven't listened to Kids See Ghost yet because I haven't had time. I just want to sit down and listen to it. I'm probably gonna do that after I edit. Omar, are you just chilling in the cut? <laughs> My man is just chilling down here. Having a time to listen to the kids see ghosts, but I did see this photo last week of Kanye recording Ghost Town, and he had this crazy mic. I tweeted, what the fuck is that mic? Many people got back to me and told me about a product I didn't really even knew existed. <sighs> that is this product right here. Because it's not a microphone, so that you can record basically anywhere, vocals, voice, and it's nice and soft. So this would go over the microphone. And then you have your mic booth in the room. This seemed bigger than this, but still, it's pretty cool. It's basically just a big ass fucking microphone. Mic. Chaotica, look beyond the traditional methods of acoustically treating the space where you record. We shifted our focus toward the two most important elements of vocal recording. The pure tonality of your voice and the nuance of the microphone. Think of the eyeball as a studio booth alternative that fits right over your microphone, sets up in seconds, and instantly transforms any space into a recording studio. So, that's the point. Yeah, I guess this is the evolution. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. But yeah, cool. I'm gonna have to set up one of my mics for it. Probably music recording mic. Cool idea. $200 is pricey for what it is, but I imagine just engineering new company. Um, yeah, it's just foam, but it's still, it, if it works, it works, dog. Crazy. All right, and then that's pretty much it for the day. Uh, we have a drop this weekend. Rumors and rules. Uh, I've been talking about it a lot. There's been a lot of vlogs this week, so we haven't talked about it here. There's multiple things dropping. Sweatshirts, t-shirts. Uh, I'm looking for something. This right here. Sweatshirts, t-shirts. Um, 
everything's online at oatsteady.com Sunday at 10 a.m. But I don't want to talk about the drop right now. I want to kind of get serious for a second, sort of. Well, it is serious. So as everybody watching this probably knows, uh, there has been a massive influx in talk about mental health. There's also been, just as of recently, two suicides and i know that suicide happens every single day and it's not always someone famous i don't think anyone's uh self-harm is more important than the other anthony bourdain ending his life and kate spade ending her life and these people being seemingly successful like rich non-outwardly depressed people and so i feel as if it's somewhat of a responsibility to share with everyone that, uh, you know, I don't have the, no one has the answers to depression and nobody, I don't really feel as if people have it completely figured out. I don't know that we'll ever figure out uh, human responses to everything, but uh, and there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with all kinds of issues in life. And there's no shortage of people who are reposting a phone number telling you to call somewhere as if, you know, calling a hotline of someone that you don't know, you don't have any respect for, doesn't know you, who, who you may not even have their life together. Like, there's no real context there. So there's no, you know, I know that I've been in places, friends that have been in places that I've turned my back on before uh, because I didn't believe them. So I know the same, you know, it happens. You're close to people. We have people close to us that we can't talk to or don't talk to or know us so well our tendencies they stop believing us i've been there before where i've had friends girlfriends family members who have needed help and been completely shut down by everyone around them who's supposed to love them and i do know that it's very hard to express how you're feeling all the time and it's very hard to express to other people when you are just feeling hopelessness and then there's no there's really nothing anyone can say to you right like when we're feeling that way it's it's very hard and sometimes we just want to vent and sometimes we just need somebody to talk to and i don't feel like it just needs to be somebody and i don't necessarily feel like i'm anybody i'm not qualified to train people like i don't i don't do I don't, i'm not i'm not a you know i'm not a doctor in no way am i saying like hey if you're feeling down i can fix you i don't think anyone can fix anyone i think uh, it's hard to fucking explain what i think is such a hard thing so you know i've been in my life super depressed like so you know i've had plenty of seemingly bad shit happened to me over the years i've had you know trauma as a child i've had trauma as an adult trauma as a high schooler like tra like trauma it happened i've had moments where i've hit complete rock bottom i lost everything i owned i lost all my people i thought were my friends i had nothing the ability to tattoo and nothing else and i ended up locking myself in a room and doing nothing but cocaine for a year, you know, and what my eyes making music, but at the time was severely depressed and severely shut off from the world and very angry and just resentful that everybody else seemingly had everything and I didn't have shit, you know, I didn't have anything and never in a million years. And, you know, people told me to change my attitude. People would be like, you gotta look at a different man. You gotta do this. This isn't you, blah, blah, blah. People would always try to give me advice and I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to say that anyone has the answers. I am here to say, if you have no one to talk to, I'm on Twitter all the time. Like I'm on Twitter probably more than anywhere else in the world. If you're having a serious issue, please fucking reach out. Please reach out to either me or Ern or Matt, somebody, we're not gonna fix you. You know, we're not. But if you need someone just to talk to, give you some insight, maybe give you a story about what's happened to one of us, or even if you're just hitting them up to get to me, I'll talk to you. In no way should anyone feel like they can't at least have someone to bounce an idea off of. I lived a crazy fucking life. I've been through a lot of shit. I feel as if if nothing else, I can offer, you know, just some sort of proof that is not going to end up the way that you think it's going to end up. Never in a million years sitting in a fucking room doing drugs and you know, writing music and being a complete piece of shit that I ever think that I would get to the point that I am now. And this is just material, right? Like, material items don't make you happy. The two people that ended their life were both rich as fuck. Travel, pretty much doing whatever. And the money is not the answer. You've got to find self-validation. You've got to be able to validate yourself. You've got to be able to love yourself. You've got to be able to find a way to 
bring your own happiness into your world. If you're relying on other people for happiness, if you're relying on substances for happiness or other things, it's never gonna work. It's endless. I smoke a lot of weed, but it's not my happiness. It keeps me mellow, chills me out, but you don't see me being like, I'm not in another place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still very conscious. I'm still here. I'm not checked out. It's not for everybody. It is for me, but you've got to find that self-love, man. Like, and I'm not preaching to anyone to make anyone feel guilty for not loving themselves. It's just so heartbreaking to watch this shit happen. And what's really heartbreaking is watching young people who look at these people other people as idols you know you might not necessarily look up to anthony bourdain or kate spade but tend to admire wealth and success and i it's never ending you know success i feel as if is a quest a life quest and you know at some point you may feel content but um i think for me what i let is my uh i've just i've i've learned to let my crippling self-doubt and my anxiety and depression i've learned to just turn that shit into fuel and make it make me stronger. And I'm not in no way saying anyone is weak by not being able to do that yet. Just want to get the message across that one, I'm here to talk to you if you need to talk to somebody, if it's if the line is between life and death, absolutely. Number two, shit can absolutely change in a blink, positively or negatively, it should always be remembered. And three, everyone here matters. You know, like we get in arguments, everyone on the internet is arguing about opinions, perspectives, et cetera, et cetera. If three of us were in a room, and the room caught fire. Everyone would matter. Everyone should matter. It's very hard to remember, but I just felt like I needed to take the time to say to say all that. You know, like, I don't have any answers. I'm incredibly saddened that people have such a hard time with life that they feel they need to check out early. I'm not here to judge you, but if you want it, I'm here to help. That's it. Um, so hopefully everybody finds peace and uh yeah it would be it would be nice to lose less people this year so um yeah but that's the day not not to end it on a you know kind of depressing note i just i want to be there for you guys so appreciate you for being here thank you for watching uh sorry for the sporadic week hopefully by monday this will all be ready to go with back to shoe reviews when they're here and um planning what's next so all right love you guys i'm out peace